Okay, there's no way I can not get the bin in the shot. <laughs> so, I bought this house a few months ago now. I'm not really a fan of the kitchen, of the green, of the woodwork top, or of the curved cabinets. And so my plan is in a few years to renovate all, update all the appliances and everything. But in the meantime, I am going to paint the cupboards white and change the handles to matte black handles. So hopefully it goes well and it looks okay and I'll give you an update on the wear and tear as well. I want to do this properly so I'm going to take all the cupboard fronts off and paint both sides if I can. Um, some of this stuff is integrated so it's going to be a bit of a faff. I'm going to do this over a few days because I don't want to have a gajillion cupboard fronts lying on my floor. So wish me luck and let's see if this is all worth it. So this is what the kitchen currently looks like. There's nothing really wrong with it. I think it's only like about six years old. It's just the previous owner's taste and I'm just not really a fan and I just don't think it matches the rest of my decor. So I'm starting off with just cleaning all the cupboard fronts and fittings with sugar soap and a microfiber cloth. And then after that dries, I just give it a sand with a sand block. Um, I don't think I even got the right sand paper, to be honest, because it didn't really make much of a difference. And then I used a damp microfiber cloth just to remove all the dust. So I took the cupboard fronts off and the handles, and then I just repeated the process for the cupboard doors. Um, but I'll be honest, I didn't bother sanding the back of the cupboards and to be honest, I didn't notice a difference in the finish So I'm gonna say sanding is optional. It wasn't on the paint instructions either So if you want to give that a miss, it will save you some time I just used a paintbrush to fill in the edges and the ridges and then a mini foam roller for the rest of it and then painters tape where it was needed but this paint is really runny so it actually seeped through the painters tape which has never really happened to me, to me with any other paint so the paint is uh, the V33 renovation cupboard and cabinet with stain barrier protection so it's specifically made for kitchen cupboards and I got it in the colour white satin got no fumes at all, it's quite quick drying um, the only thing is, it again, it's just really runny. So all the fittings that I didn't remove would start to get like drippings of paint going down because of gravity. So it would just dry with a drip. I mean, I'll show you later what I mean. much touch dry after 30 minutes but I gave it like an hour and then I flip over the cupboard door and paint the back so it says um, to leave six hours between coats so this is what the first coat looks like the second coat And by the third coat, it starts to look a lot more opaque. And really the fourth coat was just to, to make it even more opaque in the daylight. In fact, I didn't even bother putting on a fourth coat on the back of the cupboards. I just didn't really see the point and saved me a bit of time and energy and paint. Put all the cupboard doors back together and this was probably the hardest part of all of this and I'm not gonna lie to you some of those cuppers went back on a bit lopsided and for the handles I bought handles that had the same hole distance as the original handles so that way I didn't have to drill in any extra holes and I put all the products I used in the description box So just a reminder of what the kitchen looked like before. And this is what it looks like now, bright and white and clean. I 
think the finish looks good. You can still see the wood grain, which is nice. Some parts look almost spray painted on or like the cupboard was always like this. But then there are other parts that look really obviously painted, like where I've been a bit sloppy or not caught the drying, the drip marks that were drying. And it's actually really easy to clean as well. This is a dried beetroot stain and I just used water and an e-cloth to wipe it off. tap is um, leaking so if you hear water drops in the background it's not someone peeing. I'm really happy with the result. It took me two weeks to do because I was doing it in between work hours. I did only like three cupboards at a time but I think if you have time and the energy and the space you could probably bam do it all in four days. And I know um, some people might find like an all-white kitchen boring but I've never actually had an all-white kitchen before so it's new to me. I did initially get a quote to get it the kitchen professionally spray painted and it was something like £2,500 and I got the same effect basically doing it myself and I spent probably around £100. I'm very tempted to paint the backsplash white so if you have ever painted your tiles before let me know in the comments below if it's easy to clean and if the finish in person looks good. That's pretty much it. If I do paint the tiles, I'll do another video. Um, and thank you for watching.